Welcome back to another video. Well, in today's video, I want to talk about what makes you crazy attractive to the opposite sex. So this will apply to men or women. So make sure you stick around till the end. I'm going to go over um, some non superficial um, qualities in the first half of the video, and then I'll move into superficial qualities because when it comes to attraction, that matters, right? I want to apologize in advance for these ridiculous titles. Um, I I know that they're ridiculous and they're super unintelligent, but it is what it is right now. I am a business owner, so got to play the algorithm game a little bit um, because, you know, the titles I want to sort of put the videos I want to make and the titles that would be appropriate for those videos. Um, unfortunately, YouTube is not recognizing that as something to be pushed out. So I am just going to play the game for a little bit. Um, so for those of you guys that do know me, um, you know, you know that I'm a writer, I'm a lawyer and, um, but I am also an entrepreneur. So I, I do have to sort of give the audience what they want. And this is what you guys want. So this is what I'm going to do for a little bit. So that <laughs> once like now that that's out of the way, I want to get into what it makes, what makes a person attractive. Now this video is for men and women because these uh, qualities that I've defined or these attributes can go both ways, right? Um, for me, they're very, very appealing in a man, but um, I suppose that they will also be very, very appealing for men when they see this, when they see these sort of attributes in a woman. So let's get into the first one because I have my notes here. So the first, the first thing that is extremely attractive to men or women aside from looks right because this is this this is the umbrella of okay we identified that this person is good looking um great like this person is attractive now what right so the number one thing non like a non-superficial attribute is the person's energy and vibe so mind your energy and your vibe so what does this mean you can be the most aesthetically beautiful person or chiseled man but have a very bad attitude, have a very bad disposition. Um, you can come off as very arrogant or rude or, um, you know, your energy can just uh, create contraction in others. So I remember when I was at the law firm, there was this guy there that to everyone was aesthetically handsome, I guess, right? My ex used to say to me, you don't find him attractive because you don't like you don't like his attitude you don't like his energy <laughs> and i was like yeah that that's very true so this guy was very tall very muscular because that's what i like um but he was very I, I hate to say dumb but very unintelligent and he thought he was smarter than he was and uh very very arrogant like a show-off right again that's not attractive so you can be physically appealing right he had everything that i guess a woman would want very tall very muscular chiseled like you know if i i'm i'm attracted to men um with this type of look but i just couldn't i couldn't see past his energy and his vibe because his energy and his vibe was yeah it was just too arrogant and so i would say that he was more on the toxic masculine side and for those of you guys that follow me you know that i'm very um, interested in the masculine feminine energy dy dynamics and energy this is what i teach and the toxic masculine or the unhealthy masculine is uh it, it's the arrogance right it's the man that is more integrated in his ego so he hasn't separated the ego right the ego personality from the soul essence so when a woman or a man has separated the ego from their soul they function from their essence right they function from who they are their their soul is taking the lead and, and they're heart based and you can feel it versus someone that is very much identified with the mind and the external environment and how they look, etc. Right. So when a person is very identified with the mind and their ego persona, their energy is going to be very closed. Right. Even if they look aesthetically pleasing and they're attractive, which is the first thing that we all notice about someone, whether we like it or not, that's the first thing we notice. 
the second thing is their energy and their vibe do we like their vibe right and the more that you are in your ego the more that you're identified with the mind because you are not your mind okay so like you are not your mind and there's a difference between wanting to you know look nice dress nice um and all that because you know that, that there's nothing wrong with that but there's a line where it, if you're doing it to please others or you need the approval and validation for your sense of self where well then you're really really identified with the mind right there there's a, a line there so mind your energy mind your mind your vibe right a men after they notice a woman's looks right they notice her energy they notice is she feminine and by the way this is all happening beneath the surface this is not um this is not happening consciously right we are hardwired to recognize energy not words not looks not appearance right this is a energy world okay so we recognize someone's energy so when a man meets a woman after he sees her physical appearance because that is number one he's going to notice okay am i attracted to her there is like the basis of we want to be with someone that's physically attractive but beyond that right the energy matters most so a man's gonna notice well do i like her energy do i like her vibe right um is her energy pure is she in her femininity so again feminine energy is very flow it's very um it, it's very um love it's a very high frequency of love because the feminine woman has a deep sense of love for herself that way she, that so because of that she doesn't need the approval of others she follows her essence her soul she's integrated in her masculine so she has boundaries and i'm going to get into that but she's very light-hearted she's very easy easy to please she's very go with the flow and a man recognizes this right away so after he notices oh i'm attracted to her beauty he notices oh i like her energy so i like being around her when i'm around her i feel um expanded as a man i feel like a man because she's so girly she's so um she's so playful and happy and excited and joyful um these are attributes of a feminine woman right and, and she's very non-structured okay structure is the masculine just so you guys know right in all of my work you're going to notice um a deep sense of femininity in all of my work because this is who i am right so when you read my books um and you read secrets of the feminine woman even though the content is great you're gonna feel the energy coming through right in my course although there's 18 modules and there's structure it's very flow based i'm not just looking at the camera and talking no it's a coaching program right i'm not here to teach you about feminine energy in a masculine way because i don't even know how to do that that's not me so men really really like this type of energy because it's not rigid right so what do women find attractive in a man well after a woman notices a man's appearance she wants to see is this man confident so confidence is extremely attractive and when a man is confident he's very laid back he's very chill he's very laid back he doesn't sweat the small things he's very um confident in who he is as a man he knows himself right again he's not operating dominantly from the ego right a woman that is more integrated so a woman like me i can identify very quickly when a man is identified with his mind right versus he's in his body and he knows who he is right because when you're in your body and you know who you are you don't need to be defensive you don't need to be angry you can identify what is happening in your reality versus thoughts that you're making up in your mind because of your past which again is the ego so a woman that is integrated in her feminine a, a woman that is more masculine again it's ego ego love it's not true love right i'm talking about like the uh true love right is going to recognize well this man is confident this man knows who he is he's relaxed he's he's laid back he doesn't chase but he knows what he wants he pursues um he makes me feel safe he makes me feel comfortable there's no overcompensation so both sexes when they're healed are attracted to the opposite gender that is not trying so hard right that is just um laid back i would say right any sort of overcompensation is a um a lack of confidence so that's number one the second attribute that um 
is very attractive that is a non superficial attribute i would say is a person that has boundaries so um a man or a woman that has boundaries is extremely attractive to either sex so how this will look for women to men is a man, a healthy man is not going to be attracted to a woman that has no sense of self, that any man that hits on her, she's so excited, right? Her social media is filled with um, bathing suit pictures or um, like she's very loose in how she portrays herself on social media, right? Why? Because this looks like you have no sense of boundaries. It looks like you're looking for attention and men, healthy men don't like that. You can be sexy, you can show skin. I'm not saying that because I know women get so triggered by you misread everything I'm saying. Um, I'm not saying you don't have to look sexy. You don't you don't need to, um, you know, you need to cover up like a nun. I'm not saying that, but it's modesty, right? When you're putting your when you're putting up bathing suit pictures. So these are things I would never do when you're putting up bathing suit pictures. I don't even honestly, I don't even wear a two piece, right? why because i know that i'm very curvy and i don't want to accentuate my body to people that are not my partner because that would be for my partner that isn't for everyone right and so men are attracted to women that have boundaries and this is boundaries so this is one level of boundaries that a man looks at subconsciously he looks at is she looking for attention and then and the more attractive she is the more that she can display her assets and the more she doesn't do that the more the woman's attractiveness level goes up right it's very different if a woman isn't as attractive and you know whether she displays those attributes or not it doesn't really make a difference versus a woman that does have those attributes and she doesn't display them so that makes your attractiveness level um very very high for high value men right high value men again that are integrated in their masculine and they don't need to show they don't need to show you off right just in who you are with your clothes on without showing your your showing so much you are valuable to other men and a high value man knows that right an insecure man is going to want to parade you around right again that's an insecure man right he's insecure he wants to show off his money he wants to show up show off then then he's also going to want to show you off it's very very different like there were some men at the firm and you know they would not date women that just never wore heels and i was like that is so ridiculous right again they're insecure right they're they're super super insecure um sometimes i want to wear heels sometimes i don't in fact most of the time i like to be casual this is my vibe right if, if I'm with a man that can't deal, like handle me being casual and always wants me to wear heels, that's unattractive, right? Why? Because that signals that you are not secure in yourself. Because if you're secure in yourself, you would be secure in me wearing flats, no makeup, baggy clothes, right? So again, this is a very telltale sign for even women, if a man is coming off like that, that maybe this isn't the right person and it's unattractive, right? So a woman like me would not be attracted to that boundaries also for men in terms of like what makes a woman attractive is is a woman able to put boundaries with exes with family members with um other men right a man wants to feel that a woman is loyal and so if a woman is attractive her energy is good but then her she has no sense of boundaries so um like other men will talk to her and she flirts with them again there's a difference between being nice and then there's a difference between being available and open to other men's to the re to recept receptivity to other men right there's a difference between being nice and being open for other men and a high value man can see this because again it's subconscious right um he's gonna think to himself like this woman I, I don't trust her right and if a man doesn't trust you you're not attractive so a very desirable woman is a woman that is physically appealing her energy is great but again she's strong she has boundaries and even though she's friendly and nice to everybody including to the opposite sex she does not give the impression that she's available for anyone this also looks um, like if if a man or someone is disrespectful to your partner, that the woman knows how to check the person, right? If you're a woman and and your family is disrespecting your partner and you don't know how to tell your family, don't do that because that's that that if it's on your side, it's your responsibility. 
your partner is gonna, not going to be attracted to that, right? Because it, as a man, if you're watching this video, think about it. If you're with a woman and her father or mother or sister disrespects you or friend, and your partner doesn't say anything, doesn't check that person, and it doesn't need to be in a rude way. It can just be, look, this is the person I'm gonna marry or this is the person I'm with. I don't appreciate you talking to them like that, right? Are you gonna find that attractive? So th these are things that you wanna think about as a woman in terms of like, are you able to set boundaries with other people? Are you showing, are you um, being, are you trying to make your partner jealous by talking to all these men? Um, how are you showing up? Because it doesn't matter how attractive you are if your energy isn't good and you have no sense of boundaries a man is going to have a very very hard time feeling very very drawn to you how this looks for women women is the same right um and i'll just use me as an example i would not be attracted to a man that is obsessed with social with social media in fact everyone i've been with is not obsessed with social media because i'm with actually i'm actually attractive to and attracted to masculine energy men who are not attention seekers so that's number one um i'm also attracted to men that know how to know have boundaries right meaning that they don't let anyone else interfere in our relationship if someone is disrespectful to me on on their side, um, a man that can hold strong and not let any anything interfere in the relationship is what I would be looking for and is what I'm attracted to. A man that is not able to do that and a man that put, puts other, other people's interests above the woman he's with is extremely unattractive. Like, I think this is the number one unattractive thing to a feminine woman. Because when it comes to a feminine woman, she doesn't wanna have to tell her partner, who is the masculine energy man, how to deal with situations in, in, in her life, right? And if she's having to say it to him, it's because he's not, he's not doing what he needs to do. And if he doesn't even have a, an awareness of it, he's super up in his head and he's in his ego. Um, and yeah, like, I mean, it is what it is. He's gonna lose the woman, right? So boundaries for a, a woman that's in her feminine is extremely attractive if a man has all these female friends he's talking to he's disrespectful to the woman that he's with he's allowing an ex-partner to control him and the woman feels any of these things other people get in the way he listens to other people over the woman that he's with a, a, a feminine woman is not going to feel attraction meaning she's not going to want to be with that person right everything is attraction yes love is a choice but love if you're truly in love with someone attraction has to attraction plays in right you can't just be in a relationship and say you love someone but then not be attracted to them like that that doesn't that that that, that doesn't make sense right you're not in a um, you can't have a harmonious relationship without attraction and in order for there to be attraction for a woman a man has to know how to have boundaries and again boundaries doesn't mean telling everyone off that's not what boundaries are boundaries are having a voice and saying to someone this is inappropriate or this is a this is this is inappropriate behavior that's it <laughs> that's what a boundary is it's having strength right <clears throat> On either side, it's having strength and knowing that the person that you are with is number one, right? And again, you're gonna if you're gonna marry someone, you're in a relationship with someone, nothing else comes before the person you're with. Your family doesn't, your parents don't, like your children don't, because the person you're with is the person you're gonna spend the rest of your life with. So you wanna make sure that that person is comfortable, right? And a, a man that doesn't know how to do that is never gonna attract a woman that is of substance because he's going to attract women that also have no boundaries there because he doesn't have boundaries. He's going to attract women that also have no boundaries and that relationship, you know, it, 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 it won't be, it won't be happy. Right. Because even if there's no conflict, everything is being, being swept under the rug and the woman might be cheating. The man is unhappy. Um, so again, you want to be the, you want to embody that which you seek in someone else. Okay, so let me keep going. It's already 19 minutes. Um, okay, so the third non-superficial um, attribute is having a passion. So we want to be with people that are excited about their lives and that have something going on in their lives except us, right? Um, I am very attracted to men that work, right? I, I never understood when women get mad at men that are working all the time. I mean, I've, I've only been with men that work a lot. I, I love it. I want a man that works, right? The masculine is 
a, a man that provides and works like i don't want a man that just sits at home all day and meditates and twiddles his finger it, it's attractive to feminine women to have a man that works now the caveat here is that is he going to work and doing things um to stay away from you right and if you are a high value woman or a desirable woman that's not going to be the case because a man is going to want to be with you no matter what right um even in in terms of my relationships like at any time i'm with any man right and they are all successful they all have businesses they're all doing their own thing they're also into sports and you know even even before I live with them or I was living with, with, with some of my partners, even if they'd go to hockey and they'd be done at 10 o'clock at night, have to wake up at five o'clock to go to the gym, they would still make sure that they came back home, right? They didn't go to their condo or their house, etc. So it is attractive to secure women to be with men that have things going on, right? It, it's just attractive. So likewise, right? with the men it's also attractive for men to be with women that have things going on and again i always said to you guys that this doesn't mean that as a woman you have a busy life i'm very, i'm an introvert right i love to be home i i watch my shows and um i have my business i i have a quiet life it's not like uh, you know and i'm older now i'm 40 so you know i'm not on my phone all the time i'm not talking to another a lot of people all the time i've cut out a lot of people in my life but i know how to keep myself busy right um, i love going on walks i love spending time with my dog i love um you know I, I personally love doing certain things to improve my consciousness i love personal development and so i'm not needy i'm not needy right i don't need um I don't need a man to fulfill me, right? A man is an addition to my life. I'm happy regardless, right? And so that is really, really attractive to masculine energy men because again, masculine energy men are not sitting at home meditating all day. They're they're busy and they don't wanna be with a woman that is just um, like annoying and needy and codependent. It, it's a turnoff, right? So this is where the inner work comes in, okay. I want to get into now three superficial attributes that really make a difference when it comes to attraction and these might be triggering but it is what it is so the first thing is um, or the, one of the first things as well in terms of how to be attractive to the opposite sex is making sure that you take care of your body so I know that sometimes people will say, well, a, a person should just love you for who you are. Yes, but are you going to be attracted to someone that is 600 pounds, doesn't take care of themselves? And like, are, are you going to be attracted to that? Again, I'm not, this is not, this is, this is not about judgment, right? This is about attraction. <laughs> okay. So just be open-minded, right? So you want to, a person that really looks after themselves is very attractive right so that that and what that means just overall is not just the body but a person that you know drinks lots of water takes their supplements is prioritizes sleep is doesn't engage in negative vices right so what is a high value quality man going to be interested in for a woman he's going to be interested in a woman that probably doesn't do drugs doesn't smoke values her um beauty right takes care of her beauty is natural as much as she can be um doesn't drink a lot of alcohol um prioritizes um her sleep and taking care of herself and um you know going to bed early etc you don't need to be a gym rat you don't need to do anything crazy right um i'm i lead i'm active in that i you know i make sure i get my steps etc i take care of my body i do light stretches I, I i i don't i'm not into the gym like that that's just the truth right i like spinning i'm into cardio i don't do a lot of i'm not into the gym right but that doesn't mean i don't take care of myself i take care of my body i take care of um I make sure I try to get as much sleep as I can. I'm getting older. I, I maintain. I'm I'm doing my best to maintain my stress levels now, because um, cortisol is plays a big role once you turn 40, right? Um, and sleep plays a, a big role. So I'm learning more about my hormones, etc. So those things are really attractive to men. So for women, um, 
what we would be attracted to and what I'm attracted to is, is the same as what I would suspect a man would be attracted to is a man that can, a man that prioritizes, first of all, a man that prioritizes his sleep and well-being is so attractive it's not even funny, right? It's very, very attractive to a woman um, when she's with a man that is taking care of his physical body, right? in his mind he's not always um, on his phone all the time he puts his phone away from him he realizes that emf and all that is not good for him he you know he's he he takes care of himself right a feminine woman is going to be very attracted to a man that takes care of himself so that's that that's number one right you can't expect to be crazy attractive to the opposite sex if you don't take care of your physical beauty right as a man or woman and again it doesn't have to be excessive in fact excessiveness or everything being perfect makes you unattractive to um quality people right i don't need a man that is perfectly gelled hair and his suit everything is perfect in fact i'm i'm not attracted to that i'm attracted to men that take care of their body that have um you know good genetics i guess um take care of their skin and you know aren't feel like don't tan i, I don't like any of that stuff I, i'm very attracted to men that are just good looking without trying too hard to be good looking right you, you don't this is not about being excessive in fact the more excessive you are as a woman or a man the more you're in your unhealthy energies okay so that's number one okay so the second um i guess you would say non-fit uh superficial attribute and I, I would call the superficial is being well aware of what's going on in your environment and in relation to the world so like having interests outside of the relationship that involve being well versed in what is going on in society so again I am not I'm not a fan of the news I'm not I'm not suggesting that we that you know a person that is extremely oriented with the mind is attractive but that being said um oh and i said don't be a follower a person i value and what i find attractive in a man is a man that can understand what is going on in our world and is not a follower right so same thing with a man right a man is going to be attracted to a woman that is well versed in what is going on in the world right well-versed doesn't mean that this person is glued to the news no but it is a person that is aware of what is going on in the world right if you're a quality person you're gonna want to be with someone that has an idea of what is going on in in the world right you're, you're not gonna want to be with someone that has no idea and is kind of like an ostrich and they're just their head is stuck in the, in, in, in the sand right uh, you're gonna want to be with someone that is well aware of what's going on and that has an opinion right attractive people have opinions right they don't follow along with what everyone does they're, like they, they don't do that and think about in school right the popular kids or you know the people that were most gravitated to are not the people that just follow everyone in the crowd they're the people that actually have the courage to have an opinion and be different that is what makes a person very, very attractive. And it's not even that you have to flamboyantly share your views everywhere. No, but have a view, right? Have a view. So I would be very attracted to men and I am very attracted to men that, so it, let's say a man had all of the qualities that I mentioned, but then was a follower and didn't have an opinion of his own and was too scared to own his truth and be in, in integrity and kind of just went along with everything with with society and what what everyone do, does because you know that's just what they thought was best they didn't want to rock the boat etc my attraction level would be turned off I, I wouldn't be attracted to the person so same thing with men right men are going to be attracted to women that have an opinion my loves so feminine energy is not a woman that doesn't have an opinion you can have an opinion right but be aware of how you are expressing your opinion. Um, I share certain opinions now because I'm on social media and I am a, I'm, I'm a truth seeker that that's who I am. But if I wasn't on social media, I wouldn't really be sharing my views with anyone unless they asked me. And if they asked me, I would not be scared to share my views, even if it was in opposition to their views. 
I wouldn't get into disagreements with them about it because everyone is entitled to their own beliefs and their own opinions, but I too can have my own opinion. That having an opinion does not make you a masculine woman. It makes you a, a well-versed woman, okay? And lastly, okay, so I didn't know how to word this, so I'll just kind of explain it. So you want to highlight the physical attributes that you know would be attractive to the opposite sex, okay? So as a woman, right, and if you want a masculine energy man, right, you know masculine energy men appreciate curves, right? They, they want a certain body type, right? Masculine energy men, the more masculine you are, the more you're going to be attracted to a woman that is curvy. Um, and, you know, again, a, a man doesn't want the same body type that he has, right? So even if you're a woman that works out, be mindful of how muscular muscular you're getting, right? And I know, again, this is superficial, but I did say that this would I would leave this to the end. So, and, and it goes both ways, right? The more feminine you are, the more you're going to be attracted to a, a muscular man, right? That's my type. I'm attracted to broad shoulders. I'm attracted to muscles. I'm attracted to the chiseled look. Like, I'm attracted to that. So if a man wants to be attractive to me, then at a very superficial level, I'm going to look to see, does he have broad shoulders? Is he taller than me? Is he muscular? Is he, into, and, and again, this I would also tie into, is he into sports, right? Again, I did say this was going to be superficial, but this is what I'm attracted to. So if this is not in place, I can't even get past, I can't get past anything. Like I can't have a conversation with someone if I'm not, in terms of like being with them, if I'm not physically attracted to them. And so what would be attractive to, to a woman like me is a man that is built bigger than I am, that has, um, yeah, that is muscular, that is tall, and that is very athletic, right? Pretty much the opposite of me, right? I like and am attracted to men that go to the gym, that take care of their body, that are very routine, very structured, again, opposite of the feminine, opposite of me, right? Because I'm not that. So I'm going to obviously be attracted to that, which I am not, right? I'm not structure. I wake up and go to the gym if I feel like it. There's no structure in my life when it comes to working out, right? So I'm obviously naturally going to be attracted to a man that is very structured in that way. It's very, very attractive to me. I don't want to be with a man that is like me, that is go with the flow, doesn't really take care of their body, um, isn't into like being like physically fit i'm not attracted to that right to me that's too feminine and it can also be kind of lazy right i am attracted to men that have discipline that work out that um, are very muscular and you know that that's my body type that's what i'm attracted to so you want to pay attention if you're a feminine energy woman do you have the body type that a man would be attracted to so and even if you don't that that's okay you just want to be mindful that as, a, as an example a man that is more in his masculine energy is not going to be super super attracted to a woman that is very muscular right being toned is different from being very muscular right because a man wants to feel like he's with a woman and a woman wants to feel like she's with a man right so vice versa and the things that might not be your best traits you want to work on those and that's it there's nothing it's not about be, again it's not about being perfect it's about and it's not about getting triggered it's about recognizing that yeah if this is the type of man i want i obviously want to be physically attractive to this person i want this person to be crazy attracted to me and what is this person going to find attractive in me and like how can i what can i do to work on myself to become that version um for for my ideal me now this isn't about like this isn't about like being something completely different than you are right but if you want a certain type of man or as a man you want a certain type of woman you're not going to get that type of man or woman if you don't meet their ideal type and again that's just that's just the truth right um yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.